first race pacers at Hawthorne all in behind the starting gate and uh, here they come and Joppa has made a break before the start and they're off Going for the lead, Idlewild's Bow up on the outside from in between pacers. That is Crystal Bold, Downtown Society down at the rail. Crystal Bold steps to the front, Downtown Society along the inside, up on the outside, Idlewild's Bow. And KB Skippy also searching for the lead. Down at the rail, Proud Shadow completes the top five. And uh, then along the inside, Royal Viking King is racing in sixth. Town Poet is away in seventh. And then it's back to Buggin House in eighth. And far, far back after the break before the start, Joppa trails the field. The opening quarter of a mile clocked in 28 and 2. They're on to the back stretch and leading the way is KB Skippy. Three quarters of an length in front of Ida Wiles Bow on the outside second. Crystal Bowls down at the rail in third. Downtown Society is a racing fourth. Proud Shadow is fifth. Royal Viking King completes the first six and then it's Town Poet followed by Bug and House and far back Joppa can see them all. They're going to the half mile marker and still leading the way is KB Skippy on top by a length and a half. Down at the rail, Crystal Bold races second, followed by Downtown Society third. They race by the half in 57 seconds flat, and now they're rounding the far turn. And leading the way is KB Skippy on top by a length. Along the inside is Crystal Bold in second. There goes Downtown Society to the outside third. Proud Shadows racing fourth. Royal Viking King moves into the first five. Town Poet racing in six. Buggin House is seventh. Idaho while Bo has called it a day and drops back and still has Joppa beat as they come to the top of the home stretch. Leading the way is KB Skippy on top of full length. Three quarter time, 127 and two. They're homeward bound and KB Skippy has the lead. Crystal Bold following in second, looking for a way out. Proud Shadows on the outside and charging down the center of the track. Here comes Town Poet into the final eighth of a mile and KB Skippy has the lead. Town Poet's gaining on the outside. Crystal Bold now has racing room, but it's just just not good enough. Town Poet from far back is home free. It's Town Poet in front. Crystal Bowl takes second and Buggin House was third. Second race pacers at Hawthorne are all in behind the starting gate. And uh, here they come. And they're off. That's Herman Frisco driving for the early lead. Motoring Mo is up on the outside and then down towards the rail. That is HP's Nipper. They round the clubhouse turn and up on the outside, uh, taking the lead is Herman Frisco. HP's Nipper down at the rail is way in second. Motoring Mo is third. Along the inside, Unzip completes the first four, followed by Culver Cadet racing in fifth. And then it's Lake Hills, Bobby W. in sixth. Public Persona is seventh. Scotty Nippon is eighth, and Mr. Benny's is at the back. They round the turn, straighten up onto the back stretch, and driving by to take over the lead is Motoring Mo through the opening quarter in 29 seconds flat. Motoring Mo leading up the back stretch. Herman Frisco racing second. HP Snipper is third. Unzipped is out of the hole and driving up on the outside. Now racing in fourth. Culver Cadet completes the top five. Lake Hills Bobby W is in six. Moving to the outside of Scotty Nippon in seventh. Public Persona races eighth and Mr. Benny's is ninth and last. They're going to the half mile marker and that's Unzipped claiming the lead just before the half. Motoring Mo right there second. Half time fifth. 58 and 2. They race onto the far turn and Unzip leads the way. Motoring Mo racing second. Along the inside, Herman Frisco is third. Out and driving, that's HP's Nipper now racing into the first four. And gaining ground up on the outside is Lake Hills Bobby W now racing in fifth. Following on the outside is Scotty Nippon into sixth. Far outside, Mr. Benny's is racing seventh. Shuffled back, Culver Cadet is now back to eighth. And Public Persona is the trailer. 
They're rounding the turn, coming for the top of the home stretch, and Unzip turns for home with the lead through three quarters and one, 28 and four. Unzip leading into the home stretch, up on the outside, racing very quickly. Lake Kills Bobby W is there to challenge. Following on the outside is Scotty Nippin, through on the inside is Motoring Mo. An eighth of a mile to the wire, and it is Lake Kills Bobby W leading the way. Lake Kills Bobby W has made a break, gone off stride. Scotty Nippin inherits the lead along the inside Motoring Mo, outside Mr. Benny's, it's Scotty Nippon in front. Third race pacers at Hawthorne, all in behind the gate. Here they come. And they're off. That's Backlash, fast to start from the outside along the inside of Chicago Cub Fan. They race around the clubhouse turn, and Chicago Cub Fan down at the rail hands the lead. Up on the outside, Backlash is too wide and gaining ground. Along the inside, Shifty Sush is racing in a third. Ship's Captain completes the first four. Go, Brian, go. Racing fifth extemporaneously is sixth. Charity's Gambler racing in seventh. Going off stride, Ship's Captain. Ship's Captain made a break and caused mass confusion amongst the trailers. They straighten up onto the back stretch, and leading the way is Backlash through the opening quarter in 29 and 1. Backlash to the front, Chicago Cub Fan racing second, Shifty Sushi is third, and then Go Brian Go races fourth extemporaneously is in fifth. To the outside is Charity's Gambler in sixth, Black Henry down at the rail is in seventh, and then it is uh, back to eighth along the inside, and that is uh, J.A. Revrack up on the outside. Ship's Captain is racing ninth and last. They continue up the backstretch, going to the half-mile marker, and leading the way is Backlash on top by a full length. Up on the outside, extemporaneously, is driving very quickly, though, the challenge. The halftime was 59-2, and two, and as they start around the turn for home, extemporaneously has made the lead. Charity's Gambler on the outside moves into second. Backlash, Janet the Real, is trapped in third. Ship's Captain moves up in fourth. Chicago Cub Fan racing in fifth. At the rail, Shifty Sush has been shuffled back, is now sixth. Go, Brian, go, racing seventh. And then it's Black Henry in and eighth, and J.A. Revrack is the trailer. Rounding the turn, coming for the top of the home stretch, and uh, leading the way extemporaneously. Charity's Gambler up on the outside. It's Charity's Gambler and extemporaneously going at it stride for stride. Three quarters and 130 flat. Into the final eighth of a mile, and extemporaneously is the leader. Gaining ground. Go, Brian. Go on the outside. From in between, Charity's Gambler. Down at the rail is Backlash. Through the center of the track coming on Black Henry. It's Backlash driving through on the inside. Go, Brian, go on the outside. Extemporaneously in between horses. Chiming in late is Black Henry. A four-way photo. Backlash might have gotten the best of it. That was a photo finish. And they're off. And CC's image is pacing fast for the early lead. Brooklet Skeeter is in between horses. Silver Dollar Faith is over at the rail. Brooklet Skeeter and CC's image, those two do battle for the lead. And then along the inside, Silver Dollar Faith is away in third. Followed by Cool Cool, who completes the first four. And then it is back to Grapes Peekaboo in fifth, followed by Beth Express. And the trailer is Ultra Winfrey. They round the turn, straighten up onto the back stretch, and uh, grabbing the lead, CC's image, but not for long. There goes Brooklet Skeeter, gun to the lead uh, before the quarter in 28 and 4. Brooklet Skeeter has taken the lead. CC's image is second. There's a gap of three links back to Silver Dollar Faith racing in third. Cool, cool, the first four. Grapes Peekaboo, Beth Express, and at the back is Ultra Winfrey. They race midway up the back stretch, and Brooklet Skeeter leads the way. CC's image second. Silver Dollar Faith is along the inside in third. Gaining ground up on the outside, that is. Uh, Beth Express now racing in fourth. Cool, cool is fifth. Ultra Winfrey's pacing into the action now in sixth and shuffled back in 
trailing is a Grapes Peekaboo. They've raced by the half in 59 and 2, and now they're on to the far turn. And Brooklet Skeeter has the lead. On the outside is Beth Express racing second. Down at the rail is CC's Image in third. On the outside, Ultra Winfrey is fourth, just two from the lead. At the rail, Silver Dollar Faith, no racing room. Now racing in fifth. Up on the outside, Grapes Peekaboo. And Cool Cool has been shuffled back and now is seventh and last. They're coming for the top of the home stretch, and Brooklet Skeeter continues to lead the way. Just riding up on the outside, Beth Express waiting for the opportune moment to challenge. Challenge. The three-quarter time, 129 and four. They're coming down to the final eighth of a mile in Brooklet. Skeeter draws off to lead by a length and a half. Beth Express races second. On the outside is Otra Winfrey in third. Into the final eighth of a mile in Brooklet. Skeeter has the lead. And now Beth Express has asked for her best. Gaining ground on the outside, Otra Winfrey. Beth Express wearing down Brooklet. Skeeter inch by inch. This is going to be close. Beth Express gets up in time. Brooklet. Skeeter was next and Ultra Winfrey finished third. The fifth race pacers are all in behind the starting gate and uh, here they come. And they're off. Going for the lead is uh, Tambourine Hanover on the inside. Up on the outside, that is a She's a Classic, Virginia Beach down at the Rio. They race around the clubhouse turn, and that is Tambourine Hanover leading the way. Up on the outside is She's a Classic of going by to grab the lead. At the rail is Virginia Beach completing the top three, followed by Amazon's Finale racing in fourth. Once Gypsy completes the top five, Tarpour to Imogene is racing in sixth, followed by Coda Classic seventh. Enticing Miss and Katie's Dream complete the field. They are raced by the opening quarter in 20. Nine and two, and now they're on to the back stretch, and she's a classic leading the way. Tambourine Hanover is second. Virginia Beach is third. Amazon's finale is a racing in a fourth. And then Wands Gypsy completes the top five. Tarport Imogene is a revving up to move to the outside, now racing six. Following is Coda Classic to the outside, racing seventh through on the inside, enticing misses eighth, and Katie's Dream remains the trailer. They're going to the half-mile marker, and still she's a classic leading the way. Racing second along the inside is Tambourine Hanover. To the outside, Amazon's finale is racing third. Virginia Beach completes the first four. And then it's back to Wands Gypsy moving to the outside, racing in fifth. Tarport Imogene is on the outside in sixth. Coda Classic racing in seventh. And then it's back to Enticing Miss and Katie's Dream trails the field. Halftime 101 and one. And now they're midway around the far turn. And She's a Classic continues to show the way. Up on the outside is Amazon's finale racing second. Down at the rail, Tambourine Hanover is looking for a little racing room. Now third, Tarport Imogene's on the outside outside fourth. Coda Classics ready to tip to the extreme outside coming on in fifth. They're at the top of the home stretch and it's still wide open. She's a classic leading the way. Amazon's finale racing second. Here comes Coda Classic and Coda Classics in a hurry pacing down the center of the racetrack to grab the lead. It's Coda Classic to the front with an eighth of a mile to go. Wands Gypsies out and driving now into second along the inside. She's a classic trying to salvage the show money but it is Coda Classic in fifth. Front. When behind the gate, it's post time. Sixth race at Hawthorne. Here they come. And they're off. And uh, got a Kelly going for the lead up on the outside. Uh, don't try this at home. Along the inside also wants the early lead. They race around the clubhouse turn. Don't try this at home is now taking back. Letting uh, got a Kelly go to the front. Got a Kelly is the leader. And don't try this at home. Race is second. John Morgan's out and driving now into the top three. Along the inside is Yankee BT racing in fourth. Followed by Laugh Center completing the top five. But Hank six. Energetic speed is seventh. And Minx Cadet trails the field. They race off the turn.
turn and onto the back stretch. And John Morgan up on the outside is challenging. Got a Kelly for the lead. And then don't try this at home is tugging hard on the bit, racing in third. There's a break back to Yankee to BT racing in fourth. Another break in left center races fifth, followed by Bud Hanks in sixth. Minx Cadet is racing seventh. Energetic speed trails the field. First quarter of a mile was clocked in 29 and two. And as they race midway up the back stretch, that is John Morgan taking the lead. Got a Kelly though is moving to the outside to challenge. They are onto the half in 58 and two. And now they're on to the far turn and leading the way is John Morgan on top by a length and a half. Got a Kelly racing second. Don't try this at home is revving up to challenge on the outside. Now third driving into the action on the outside. That is uh Minx Cadet into the first four. Down at the rail, Yankee BT is fifth, followed by Laugh Center in sixth. Bud Hanks is racing seventh. Energetic Speed trails the field. They're coming for the top of the home stretch, and John Morgan has the lead. Has opened up a two-length advantage on Gotta Kelly in second. Three quarters in one, 28 and one, and now they're homeward bound, and John Morgan has the lead. Gotta Kelly's coming on again, now second, and on the outside, Minx Cadet is closing. Down at the rail, don't try this at home, races fourth. Through the final eighth of a mile, and John Morgan still hands the lead. Gotta Kelly is inching closer with each and every stride. They have a 16th to race and John Morgan has the lead. Now Gotta Kelly's even. Gotta Kelly takes the lead from John Morgan. Here's the finish and Gotta Kelly in front. John Morgan was second. Close for the show money with Don't Try This at Home third. Seventh race pacers all in behind the starting gate, and here they come. And they're off. DL Jackpot's going for the early lead from in between horses Majestic Glance, and then towards the inside is Peter Pumpkinhead. That is DL Jackpot leading the way. Up on the outside, Peter Pumpkinhead is away in second. Looking for a spot along the inside, Majestic Glance is just forcing his way into a narrow opening. And on the outside, Moving Man's driving by. At the rail, Wish for Wand is now racing in fifth, and then it is back to John R. in sixth, and the trailer is a Sparky CW. They round the turn, straighten up onto the back stretch, and Moving Man has raced to the lead. Peter Pumpkinhead races second. DL Jackpot is third. Majestic Glance at the rail, fourth. Wish for Wand is racing in fifth, and then it is back to John R. in sixth, and Sparky CW trails the field. First quarter was in 29 and 1, and Moving Man grabs the lead and has slowed things down just a bit. Racing second is Peter Pumpkinhead, and then third is DL Jackpot, followed by Majestic Glance in fourth. Wish for Wand tipping to the outside is now racing into fifth. Spark Sparky CW is sixth, and the trailer is John R. They race to the half-mile marker behind Moving Man. Halftime was a minute and two fists, and now they race to the far turn. Moving Man still with the lead, racing second along the inside, Peter Pumpkinhead. Wish for Wand is on the outside, racing third. Down at the rail, DL Jackpot is fourth. Sparky CW moving uh, with cover is now racing into fifth. And then John R. is on the move in sixth. Shuffled back, Majestic Glance is down the trailer. They're coming for the top of the home stretch, and leading the way is Moving Man on top by a half. Half a length, Wish for Juan moving alongside to challenge in second. The three quarter timed in 132 flat, and now they're straight away for home. Uh, wide open horse race with Moving Man, a slight lead over Wish for Wand, racing second outside, uh, gaining ground now into third. That is Sparky CW along the inside, looking for a way through as Peter Pumpkinhead into the final eighth of a mile, and Moving Man hands the lead. Peter Pumpkinhead full of pace, no chance to strut his best today. It's Moving Man in front, DL Jackpot pacing onto the scene late. Moving Man in in front. Eighth race trotters are all in behind the gate. Here they come. 
You know what I mean, Vern's out of step with the field. You know what I mean, Vern made a break before the start. And now they're off and trotting, and that is Gutsy Gertie going for the lead. Cooper Randolph is up on the outside now, trotting into second, dropping over to the rail. And then it is Forbearance and along the inside, racing away in third. On the outside, Almar's message is moving up strongly in fourth. A Yankee Bill squeezing in at the rail, racing fifth. Party Marty is away in sixth. Bulky Action is seventh. And far, far back, you know what I mean, Vern, trails the field. They straighten up onto the back stretch, and uh, the opening quarter of a mile was trotted in 28 and 4. Gutsy Gertie's the pace setter with Cooper Randolph racing in second up on the outside. Almar's message is racing in third. Forbearance is fourth. Yankee Bill trotting along in fifth. And then it's back to Party Marty in sixth. And then a gap back to Smoky Action racing in seventh and far back. You know what I mean, Vern can see them all off in the distance. They go to the half mile marker, and Gutsy Gertie still has the lead. Almar's messenger on the outside is challenging. Down at the rail is Cooper Randolph now trotting in third. Up on the outside, racing into the first four is Yankee Bill. Along the inside, four Barons completes the top five. Party Marty is racing in sixth, and then along the inside is Smoky Action in seventh. And far back the trailer, you know what I mean, Vern. Halftime, 59 seconds flat. They're midway around the turn for home, and Gutsy Gertie hands the lead three quarters of a length. Three wide and driving. Yankee Bill is into the action. Locked in tight. Cooper Randolph needs a little luck now. They're coming for the top of the home stretch and three wide goes Party Marty. At the top of the home stretch, they're straight away for home. And leading the way, Gutsy Gertie on top by a length on the outside. Party Marty is finishing fast from in between horses. Cooper Randolph threading the needle is now into the action. Into the final eighth of a mile and Party Marty under confident handling by driver Andy Miller is just drawing away. You can put a ring around Party Marty. Cooper Randolph's the best of the rest. Gutsy Gertie's the show horse. Here they come. And they're off, and Casey Luke driving for the lead. Up on the outside is Alberto Fino. Along the inside is Heyman Island. A race onto the clubhouse turn, and that is Alberto Fino up on the outside, grabbing the lead. Heyman Island down at the rail is away in second. Who's your scooter is along the inside, tugging hard on the bit, and Tony Morgan's trying to control his enthusiasm, is racing now third. Lucky Pestigo moves by and takes the third spot. Who's your scooter relegated to fourth, and he's not going to sit in that hole long. He's going right up on the outside to challenge for the lead. Down at the rail that is a Casey Luke away in a fifth and then it is back to once a pan of time racing in six love scooter is in seventh foolish courage is eighth and the trailer is finale's gem they're racing midway up the back stretch and up on the outside who's your scooter has grab control lucky Pestigo racing second Alberto Fino is third and then it's back to Heyman Island in fourth to the outside once a pan of time is gaining ground now in fifth Casey Luke down at the rail to six love scooters following the cover and seventh foolish courage races eighth and uh, at the back the trailer is is Alberto Fino. They race around the turn going to the far turn. The opening half was in 57 and 2. And leading the way is Hoosier Scooter. Three quarters of a length in front. Once a pan of time up on the outside. Races into second. A lucky Pesta goes down at the rail in third. Up on the outside. Gaining ground is Love Scooter. Now racing fourth. Foolish Courage is on the outside in fifth. Alberto Fino down at the rail is sixth. Finale's Gym races seventh. Heyman Island is in eighth. And dropping out Casey Luke is the trailer. At the top of the home stretch it is Hoosier Scooter on the inside. Love Scooter three wide from in between horses once a pain of time. Three quarters of a mile in one twenty-seven and three. Coming down to the final eighth of a mile in Love Scooter has asked for a little more. Who's your scooter digs down deep and holds them safe. It's Who's Your Scooter on top. Once a pain of time now coming with one. Last try. It's Who's Your Scooter in front. Once a pain of time second. Who's your scooter? Wins a half a length. Once a pain of time was second. And Love Scooter was third. Time of the mile, one fifty-four, four fifths.
The 10th race Pacers are all in behind the starting gate, and uh, here they come. And they're off. Grape Jam is driving quick for the lead. Uh, Happy Sims down at the rail is away in second. They race onto the clubhouse turn, and that is Grape Jam leading the way. And then uh, Happy Sims along the inside is second. Uh, Leon Hanover is racing in third. And uh, then it is back to fourth, and uh, that is Rika Hanover. Completing the top five is Love Seat, followed by Smoke and JoJo in six. Getting any bluegrass is seventh, and the trailer is quick mischief. They round the turn, straighten up onto the back stretch. The opening quarter of a mile was clocked in 29 and 3. And as they race onto the back stretch, that is Leon Hanover going to the lead. Arika Hanover following on the outside. And down at the rail, that is Grape Jam now racing in third. Happy Sims completes the first four. Followed in a fifth by Love Seat. Spoken JoJo is sixth, getting any bluegrass is seventh, and Quick Mischief trails the field. A midway point onto the back stretch and leading the way up on the outside. Rika Hanover overtakes the lead of Leon Hanover. It's Rika Hanover to the front. Leon Hanover racing second. Along the inside is Grape Jam in third. Out and moving is Love Seat now into the first four. Happy Sims racing in fifth, followed by Spoken JoJo in sixth. Getting any bluegrass racing seventh, and at the back, Quick Mischief trails the field. Halftime, 58 and three. Three-eighths of a mile still to go, and going off stride was Leon Hanover, and that caused mass confusion amongst the trailers. Inheriting the lead as they come to the top of the stretch is Love Seat, and Love Seat has inherited a three-length advantage. Rika Hanover races in second, along the inside Happy Sims third. Quick Mischief has moved into fourth. They straighten into the home stretch, three quarters and one, 28 and three. And it's Love Seat pacing uh, to the wire, five links to the good. Happy Sims, quick mischief showing plenty of speed down the outside is coming on. Now second into the final eighth of a mile and Love Seat has the lead. Quick mischief moves into second along the inside, trying to bear in is Rika Hanover. It's Love Seat in front, quick mischief second. Rika Hanover proving to be a handful finishes third. On Hanover was sixth, Rika Hanover third, Love Seat the race winner. Grape Jam did not finish. Smoke and JoJo was seventh. Getting any bluegrass finishes.